Hey there, good looking, and welcome to this a shoulder a warm up series. Now, listen, this is perfect to do before an upper body workout, or if you have uh, rotator cuff issues, shoulder impingement, or even frozen shoulder. The only thing you need is a piece of tubing. Something on the lighter side would be great. All right, let's go get warmed up. Hello there and welcome. My name is PJ Wren. If you, you are unfamiliar with who the heck I am, listen, I've been a certified personal trainer, coach, and fitness instructor for close to three decades, focusing on women over the age of 40. And today we are focusing on our shoulders. Now, as mentioned, hopefully you have light tubing. Now, the first two exercises would be absolutely ideal if you could anchor your tubing about waist height. So either using a door attachment or loop it around a sturdy piece of furniture you have nearby. I have nothing, so I'm gonna be using my other arm to um, anchor my tube. Now, if you have nothing as well, so you'll just follow me. Otherwise, everybody else, I want you to anchor your tube. You're going to mirror me. We're starting out with that external rotation ISO hold. As a mouthful. So I want you to walk away from whatever you're holding on or whatever is anchoring your tubing, or for you that are following me, you're holding the tubing and pulling it with the opposite arm, and then elbow under shoulder, and I want you to come to 90 degrees and hold this ISO hold. You should be feeling the back of your shoulder fired up. We're hitting the rotator cuff muscles. Good, now slowly release. Awesome, let's pull it back, ISO hold. So ISO just stands for isometric, so there's no contraction happening in the muscle. Release, good, two more, here we go. And again, you should be feeling it in the shoulder. If you're not, either walk further away from your anchor point or pull the tubing a bit more with the anchoring arm. Let's do one more. And release. All right, now give yourself a little bit more to play with. We'll now work through concentric and eccentric muscle contraction. Elbow in and rotate and pull it away. So you're doing a full external rotation with this. Again, anchoring it either on the wall or with your opposite hand. Now you want to move through the shoulder on this. I, I see a lot of people, they move through the wrist. Keep that wrist fairly quiet. Elbows close to the ribs and warm it up into the rotator cuff. Now the rotator cuff is an endurance muscle, so it likes higher reps, lower loads. So that's why it responds really well to exercises with tubing. And we're gonna go for 20 reps here. So these drills, as mentioned, are really good to do before an upper body workout. In particular, if you're doing any pressing above the head, we're gonna get the entire scapula and shoulder warmed up so that you can do those presses safely and effectively. Last three, and two, and one. Woo, hello rotator cuff. All right, so now we've got to do the other side. So if you've got your tubing anchored, you'll simply just turn around to work the other arm. Those of you that are with me and have nothing to anchor your tubing, we're now using this arm to anchor, and this is our working arm. Now let's pull that tubing so that when we hold the ISO hold, that palm facing the midline of the body, we can feel that shoulder working. Good, and we're here for a few breaths. So that's Q, that's a key there, you wanna breathe. <laughs> and then release, all right, let's do it again. And if you're with me anchoring the tubing, there's no doubt we're feeling the other arm as well. <laughs> all right, and release, Whew. let's do two more. You may find, as I'm finding, one side getting fatigued a lot faster than the other side did. And release, let's do one more, the ISO holds, good. All right, now make whatever adjustments you can to get a big range of motion to go through the full external rotation. Here we go. Moving through the shoulder, remember, keeping the elbow just under the shoulders and your wrist fairly still. Thumbs pointed up, do what you gotta do to hold onto that tubing, not looping it too tight around the hands, that can be uncomfortable. And say hello now to that rotator cuff. Everything else is really still and stable. Legs, core, hips, shoulders, good. All 
All right, last four, three, two, woo, and one. Shake it out. Now let's take the tube up to shoulder height and we're pulling it and pulling the shoulder blades together and coming back to center. This is called scapular retraction. So what we wanna focus on, let me go behind here, is as we pull the tubing, we don't really care if the tubing comes near you, what we care about are the shoulder blades coming together to wake up those mid back muscles and the scapula, all of which play on your shoulder joint. Slow and controlled. Squeezing the shoulder blades, bringing the mid-back, or waking up the mid-back muscles, drawing the shoulder blades together, squeezing it. Good. I'm going to come to you now. And, and again, knees are soft, right? Abs engage. We're not moving the rest of the body. We're really stable. Here we go. Last four. And three. Two. And one, whoo, you should be really feeling it in that upper back area. Final one, they call it the cheerleader. We wanna lead with the thumbs, all right? And we want, give ourselves some tubing here, and we want one arm coming up and the other one coming out. So you're almost making the letter X and then back. Now when we make that, so join me, I want you just to mirror me, okay? So here we go, thumbs are, you're gonna lead with the thumbs. Here we go, pull one down, thumb going to the wall behind you, pull this one up, thumb going to the wall behind you now. Now take a look, is that shoulder yanked up to the ear? Pull it down, good. Now let's do the other side. So here is important that we are moving through the shoulders, not moving in elevation though. So shoulder blades coming together, and then you're gonna have to adjust, maybe you need more tubing, maybe it's too much and you can't get a full range of motion. My tube is hitting my body with each wrap, you may find the same with you. But we're moving into sort of a letter X position. And then we're keeping the rest of the body still, so we're not twisting it and getting right into it with the entire body. We're moving just through those shoulders, through the scapula. Excellent, here we go, last. Four, woo baby, and three, two, and one, woo. All right, final drill, no tube, we're just gonna get into your T-spine, take yourself into a forward fold for me, bring the hands underneath, take your left arm and reach it up, look up, bring it back, let's do that same arm again, we have eight. So here we're working into some rotation extension through the mid-back area, your T-spine, which can sometimes be locked up and create problems and issues with our shoulders. Let's do two more. Last one. Other side. Good. Keeping the hips still, pushing the bum back. We've got softness in those knees, that hip hinge, and just rotating from the mid-back up to the shoulder. Let's do two more, one more, and release. There you go, you're ready. Your shoulders are warmed up and ready to go. Have a great workout or rest of your day, whatever you're doing following this. And listen, you can help this video up by clicking that thumbs up if you're here on YouTube. It helps the YouTube algorithm find this video. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you next workout. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Join me for this quick shoulder warm up exercise drill. <laughs> exercise drill. <laughs> when have I ever said exercise drill in any of my intros? <laughs> Another verbal diarrhea by PJ. Hey there, good looking. Join me for this shoulder warm up exercise drill. Oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> The, if you if you like watching train wrecks, yeah, stick around. I think this one's going to be a train wreck.